Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This presentation is presented by Latif Niazi School. Welcome to class 2 and the subject is computer education and I am your computer teacher Miss Hina. This is your computer book of class 2 Oxford Keyboard 3rd edition. Now I will teach you chapter number 1. Chapter number 1 of your book is a smart machine. Do you know which machine is called a smart machine? Yes, computer is called a smart machine. The parts of a computer need electricity to work, so computer is also called an electronic machine. Computer is a very useful machine. We use it to listen, music, watch, movies, for type, to play games, for draw and solve sums and so many other functions. Second topic is humans and computers. Computer is a smart machine. Why it is called a smart machine? Because it can do many things that we can do. But there are some differences between computer and us. Number one, humans cannot work very fast as a computer, but a computer can work very fast. Second, human can make mistakes, but computer does not make a mistake. Third, human do get tired after some time, but a computer never get tired. 4. Human get bored, but a computer never get bored. 5. Human get forget the information after some time, but a computer never forget the information stored in it. 6. Human have feelings, but a computer does not have any feelings. Number 7. Human can take decisions, but computer cannot take decisions. Third topic is types of computer. Computers are of different types and come in different sizes. There are four types of computer. Number one, desktop computer. Second, laptop computer. Third, tablet computer. Four, palm top computer. These computers are also called personal computers or PCs. They are personal because they can only be used by one person at a time. Now I define desktop computer. The computers are kept on a desk are called desktop computers. There are two types of desktop computers. Some desktop computers come with a separate CPU cabinet and all parts like a monitor, keyboard, mouse are connected to the CPU cabinet. But another type of desktop computer have a monitor with all parts of CPU cabinet inside the monitor. A laptop. A small computer that can be kept on our laps are called laptop. A laptop computer can be carried around by one person. It can work on a battery. Another type of computer is a tablet computer. A tablet computer is smaller than a laptop but larger than a palm top. Tablet computer has a touch screen. You can use your finger or a pen device to work on it. Palm top computer, palm top computer that fit into the palm of our hand are called palm tops. Some of the palm tops can be carried around in our pockets too. They also work on batteries. Last topic of this chapter is starting and shutting down a computer. Now watch the video on this topic after few minutes. Clico, what are you doing? Hi Rini. I have got some work to do on the computer, so I'm switching it on. Gosh, I always want to know how to switch on the computer. At school, our teacher always switches on the computer. Can you teach me how to switch on the computer, Clico? Sure, Rini. I will tell you steps and you perform the steps. Yes, Clico. First, remove all the covers from the computer and its devices. Now, switch on the main socket button on the switchboard. Yes, I have pressed the switch on. Now, switch on the UPS. Yes, I have pressed the UPS button on. Look, a green light is glowing in the UPS. Yes. The UPS has powered up now. 
Now, switch on the CPU power button. Yes, I have pressed the power button on the CPU. I can hear a faint noise inside the box. It is the CPU starting up. Now, switch on the monitor button. Yes, I have switched it on. A green light is glowing. But nothing has appeared on the screen. Relax, Rini. It may take some time to show the main screen as the system is booting up. Look, the computer screen desktop is appearing on the monitor. Yes, the computer is starting up. Look, Rini. This is the mouse pointer. It now looks like an hourglass. It means that the computer is busy and will need some time to start up. Now, the hourglass has changed to the arrow pointer. This means the computer is now ready. We can start working on it. Now, can you remember the steps how to turn on the computer? Yes, Liko. I can now always turn on the computer. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure to help you. Oh, what should we do to turn off the computer? Should we just switch off the main socket switch? No, Rini. We should never switch off the computer directly. It may harm the computer. There are a number of steps you should follow to turn off a computer. Please tell me the steps and I will switch off the computer. Okay, first of all, click on start or the window sign on the screen of the monitor. Look, it is located at bottom left corner of the screen. I have clicked on it. A panel has appeared on the screen. Can you see the shutdown option in the panel? Well, click on it. Yes, I can see that. I have clicked on it. Good. Now the computer will take a few minutes to turn off automatically. Look, the screen has now turned black. It means the computer is now turned off. The CPU also gets automatically turned off. So, we are not required to turn off the CPU. Now, switch off the monitor and after that switch off the UPS. And switch off the main power socket switch. Now, I hope you know how to switch on and off a computer. Yes, I do now. So, always remember, these steps while turning on or off a computer. Definitely, Clico.